It was 36 years ago today that a CHP officer killed San Diego State student Cara Knott. Today, CBS 8's Elizabeth Sanchez talked with Cara's family off I-15 near the Mercy Road exit at the scene of the crime. Kara Knott's body was found just below this bridge. Her car was found about a quarter mile away from here. And since then, her family has constructed a memorial garden just down the way here in her honor. Your heart is never the same. It's, we're forever fractured. The heartbreak from losing a family member to a senseless crime can be hard to overcome. There's just no words. The pain will, it will be with all of us the rest of our lives. It's been 36 years since 20-year-old Kara Knott's body was found in a deserted area off the old Highway 395 bridge. She had called her parents, saying she was leaving her boyfriend's house in Escondido. She stopped to put gas in her car, then drove on I-15 towards her home in El Cajon, but she never made it. Looking for her all night long, you know, up and down the freeways. Cynthia Knott recalls how she felt seeing her sister's 1968 BW Beetle. It was like... Like being in a tomb, you know, the, the deathly, eerie, the worst gut-wrenching feeling when, you, when we saw our car. It was like nothing I can ever describe. Just, we knew she was gone. Two and a half weeks later, police arrested Officer Craig Pyre, a 13-year veteran of the CHP. She did everything right, and she was pulled over by a CHP officer, directed off the highway, down into a cul-de-sac, and he took out a rope out of his trunk, walked up to her, hit her with a flashlight, knocking her down, wrapping a rope around her neck, strangling her until she was dead, then took her body, apparently put it on top of his patrol car, drive the, drove the body over a bridge, then took the body off the hood of the car and dumped it off that bridge down 100 feet into a ravine. Pyre was convicted and sentenced to 25 years to life. The sense of betrayal, especially among women in San Diego, was unlike anything I have ever seen or heard of before or since then. The murder led to changes orchestrated by Knott's father, Sam. The first thing he did was change the 48-hour waiting period to file a missing persons report if you were 18 or older to eliminating that. Pyre has been denied parole, but will get another chance in 2027. As long as there's a breath in my body, I will fight for keeping the monster in prison and my dad's memory and my sister's memory. Elizabeth Sanchez, CBS 8.